Hello, my name is M.K. Davis. You know, I've worked with the Patterson film for quite a few years now, and with the advent of the new deblurring technology, I've, I've uh, put some of the film, you know, through this process, and and, and it actually, you know, uh, it was pretty impressive in some of the results I got from it. Uh, recently, there's been some uh, people talking about, you know, the profile of the Patterson subject and and how they they think it looks this way or that way and you know I, I realized after watching the video that you know it was shot at at very slow shutter speeds and when you have fast action and slow shutter speed you get a lot of stretching and skewing and individual frames can fool you and what you really have to do is to to take a segment of the film and watch the segment and sort of your eye and your brain will average out. Uh, and you'll get a more accurate idea of, a, of the facial features or the profile or, or any of that type of thing you're looking at. So I decided to, to resubmit some of the Patterson film in little clips. And this one involves the profile of the face and the movement of the neck. And, and I'll just run this by you, let you look at it, uh, see what you think about what the face looks like on the Patterson film film subject uh are we looking at a muzzle are we looking at a, a mouth a human type face uh what are we looking at uh you be the judge and uh let's take a look You know, in this uh, little click, quick clip here, uh, it became you know pretty obvious that what they used to say about the Patterson film that it did not move its neck but turned its entire body is simply not the case. And I think you can see that in this file here. But irregardless of that, you can also get an idea of the face or, or the profile of the face. So what do you think you're seeing here? Are you, are you seeing a simian face or are you seeing... A human face? Or are you seeing a half and a half? Or or what are what are you seeing? Anyway, I, I thank you for your time.